Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is a very different video because I'm using a different camera and the setup was really, really difficult to make. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually be using this footage or if the camera will fall down or whatever happens. But um, yeah, so far I actually really like it because the quality is so much better and I just really like how this camera is picking up the colors. So today I will show you how I did these nails and to start off I have already prepped the nails and cleansed them. I will be doing a little bit of a refill and then the design. So let's start with the primer. To prime, I'm using the Simply Super Bond and I'm just putting it on the nail and it's okay if it touches the skin a little bit but don't make it a habit, like try to stay away from the skin. So I already have a little bit of gel on my nails so I don't have to put the primer all over. I just have to put it like where my natural nail is peeking through. Alright, so now that the nails are all primed, I'm going to use the Simply Fiber Gel as my base. So I'm gonna put thin layers on all of my nails. Alright, so when you put this fiber gel, you don't want it to touch the cuticle area. You want to stay like a millimeter from your cuticles. But it is an art to be as close as possible without touching the cuticles. So if you can do that, then you are really good at this. Because it's very difficult. So now I'm gonna put this in my En Vogue LED lamp to cure and I will cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so the fiber gel is now cured. Now we can move on to the fun part. So I'm gonna use more fiber gel and I will put it where I want the glitter to be. So I will put it on my pinky. This is where I will put the golden glitter. And let me know what you guys think of the setup. If you'd like the camera to be more like in front or zoomed in or whatever it is. Just let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to fix it for the next video. Alright, so for the glitter, I'm going to use this glitter. This is actually from AliExpress. I will leave the information in the description. And for the brush, I'm just using a random brush that I have. I'm not even sure where it's from. So I'm gonna pat this glitter on top of the fiber gel. And what I like to do when I use loose glitter is I like to pat the surface so that the glitter is nicely even. All right, so on the middle fingernail, I'm actually gonna use a glitter gel from En Vogue. I'm gonna use their Smooch. It's a very beautiful pink glitter gel. And to apply this, I will be using my oval brush from En Vogue.
All right, so now that I have the glitter in place, we can put this in the LED lamp and I will cure this for 60 seconds as well. All right, so now that the nails are cured, we can go on and encapsulate the glitter. So I'm going to use the Envogue Simply Clear to encapsulate the gold glitter. I'm using this gel just because I don't want to get any glitter particles into my fiber gel. And for this, I'm going to use my Envogue Sculpting Brush number 4. And we don't even need to put a lot because I'm not going to build the thickness of this nail. I'm only going to encapsulate but we want to make sure that we still have enough gel because I will actually buff and shape the nail after putting this layer on. Now the tricky part with doing an all glitter nail like this is to encapsulate the sidewalls and the cuticle area because you want to encapsulate everything and you want the gel to come as close, as close to here as possible without touching the skin and on the cuticle area. I had to do the most off camera because it was really tricky. But yeah, now that's done. I'm going back to the Simply Fiber Gel. And with this gel, I'm gonna encapsulate the glitter actually on this nail. Since this is a color gel, a colored glitter gel, whatever you wanna call it, um, it will not like the glitter will not move anywhere. As you can see on the brush, it's all clean. All right, and I'm gonna put more on the other nails as well. I'm gonna put this in the LED lamp again for 60 seconds. All right, so now that the nails are cured, I just want you to know that before cleansing them, you have to make sure that the glitter nails especially are cured and hard because depending on how much glitter you're using or what kind of lamp you have to cure the nails, you have to make sure that the glitter is cured because some lamps are better than others and vice versa, so better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> I promise you that one. Um, yeah, so now that everything seems to be perfectly cured, I will use my Envogue Prep and Clean to cleanse the nails. And I'm actually using it with some regular toilet paper. <laughs> because who cares? All right, so now that the nails are all cleansed and dry, we can start filing and buffing the shape. So as you can see, I don't have much product on my nails. So I'm not going to have to file them a lot. So I'm only gonna do a little bit and then I will come back. All right, so I've just filed the nails. I was using the En Vogue nail file. I think this is a 100, 180 grit file. So I'm going to cleanse the nails now using the same prep and clean from En Vogue. And then we are ready to put the gel polish and top coat on top. Before applying the gel polish, I would like to put a little bit of Simply Super Bond just around the cuticle area. This is not necessary. You really don't have to do this, but I used to do this a long time ago. If you've watched my old videos, then you have probably seen me do this. And this is only to prevent lifting. And I have to say, this always works. Always. All right. So we are now ready to put the gel polish on. So I'm going to use the Madame Glam Simple Tan. Uh, on some of the nails and then I'm going to use my Madame Glam My Oh My on some. So I'm going to start with the Simple Tan. This is actually a one-step gel polish which means that it already is a base, a color and a top coat. But yeah, I'm still going to use a top coat on top of this and obviously I have already made a base. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this as a regular gel polish.
So I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds in the LED lamp and I will be right. This coat is now cured so I'm going to apply a second coat just to make it a little bit more opaque. Now that we have two coats on, I'm going to cure this one in the LED lamp as well for 30 seconds. Okay, so it's now time to do the top coat. And I've noticed that if you put top coat on top of gel polish, then it will start doing some strange patterns. So I will actually cleanse all these nails again and then I will put the top coat on. So I'm going to use my Simply Super Shine from En Vogue as my top coat. cure this for 60 seconds in the LED light. Okay, so the top coat is now cured, so it's time to cleanse the nails for the last All right, guys, so the absolute final step is to use cuticle oil, and I'm using the Spa Renew and Repair Cuticle Oil. And I just put it on the cuticles. You don't have to put too much. Now I have put way too much of this on. All you want to do now is just smear your fingers and nails in this cuticle oil and you are done. Uh, and by the way, I would like to ask you one thing before I go. Do you guys know where I can find a good e-file? Because I haven't had one for like six months or so and I feel like I do need one. So let me know where you have got yours from and where I can buy mine. And then obviously I will show you guys what I think of it and do a little review of it. So comment down below where your e-file is from and where I should get mine from. So this is the final result you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!